from Kitchener Waterloo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Acting Premier. Last week's FAO report showed that once this government sells off 60 per cent of Hydro One, Ontarians will lose up to $500 million a year every year in the long run. This is money that could have been spent on education, on health care, on poverty reduction. Unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, for Ontarians, that money is as good as gone, while a number of the Premier's friends and Liberals' insiders stand to line their pockets. Will, I, will the Acting Premier finally concede that the sell-off of Hydro One is a bad decision for Ontario, Ontario's families and businesses? Well, Speaker, you know, I, I think the member opposite acknowledges that we do need to invest in infrastructure. I'm going to uh, assume that you do believe that she does believe we need to spend in infrastructure. The question that remains is how quickly can we do it and how are we going to pay for it, Speaker? So we did. We are looking at our assets. The people of Ontario own a number of assets, Speaker. We have to make sure we're getting the best value for those assets. One of those assets is Hydro One. So we very carefully looked at how can we make sure the public interest is protected and at the same time unlock some of the cash if available in Hydro One so we can add other assets to our portfolio. We need other assets now, Speaker. We're going to invest in those assets and we're going to do that in part by broadening the ownership of Hydro One. Thank you. Supplementary. Mr. Speaker, the Financial Accountability Officer did some economic modelling that this government has a responsibility to listen to. What we are hearing today is that you do not trust the, the FAO and that you're not listening to him, and he mentioned that in his press conference. The FAO's report also showed that privatizing Hydro One will cause Ontario's net debt to rise. Under this Premier's leadership, Ontario now has the most debt of any sub-national government in the world. More debt means less money invested in the priorities of Ontarians, and now the FAO has confirmed that the province's net debt will be even higher, leaving a significant burden on future generations and less money for health care, for education, and yes, even infrastructure. It is always Ontario's families that end up paying the price for this government's short-sighted and reckless actions. Will the acting premier make the responsible decision and stop the sale Question. of Hydro One? Uh, Speaker, we are proceeding because we need that infrastructure and we need it now, Speaker. You know, the, um, when we did embark on this, uh, we did look very, very closely at it. We did acknowledge, Speaker, that there would be uh, revenue from Hydro One that we would not be receiving in the future. We've gone into this with open eyes. We are getting the ability to build badly needed infrastructure, Speaker. That's what this is all about, and we will continue with that work. Thank <laughs> you.